Hi everybody, Scott here. This is going to be a reasonably quick video to introduce you to creating a website using Joomla. Now there's a good chance you've never even heard of Joomla and you're probably thinking that you don't know why you'd want to make a website with Joomla. But trust me, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why you're going to use Joomla to make your website. This may not apply to everyone, but do you remember when you got your first dishwasher and you no longer had to wash all the dirty dishes by hand? In a house of five, having to hand wash every day's worth of dishes took ages and was extremely boring. Not to mention it had to be done every single day. Then you get this machine and all you need to do is put the dirty dishes in it and then just press a button and it would clean all the dishes for you. That made things so much easier. Now this actually applies to Joomla in a way. Going back quite a few years now, every website had to be hand coded from scratch, which took ages and was very boring, plus was pretty hard and no normal person could actually create a website then. Now with Joomla though, it's like installing that dishwasher. Joomla does everything for you. All you need to do is push a few buttons to tell it what you want it to do, and then it's done. Hand coding a website is a thing of the past. Knowing some HTML can help, but it's not needed anymore. This is probably one of the first videos of mine you have seen and likely the first time you have visited my website, so I'm not gonna make you take my word on anything. Here's where I wanna give you a little demonstration to prove how powerful and helpful Joomla can be and why you're going to create your website using Joomla. What I'm going to do is start with a fresh website, the same as what you'll get as soon as you have signed up for a website hosting account, and I'm going to show you how quickly Joomla can be installed and set up to run your website and how a few clicks can change the entire look of your Joomla website and basically just how easy it is to use Joomla. Okay, so first I'm just going to open a new page here and load the blank website, which I'll use for this example. So this is a blank website and is pretty much what you get as soon as you've signed up for your hosting account. So now let's install Joomla to your website or to this website. All you need to do is log into cPanel, which you can do by going to like whatever site you sign up for. So your site.com forward slash cPanel. So you can see this website is hosted with HostGator and they're the only company I recommend for hosting your website now. And, and I'll show you how to get your HostGator website in the next tutorial. So to install Joomla, all I need to do is click on a few buttons, which the first one is this one here, which is the Fantastico icon. This will load the Fantastico page. Now from here, I'm just gonna select Joomla on the side here. And now this is for Joomla. And all I do is click new install. And this will load the installation process for Joomla. Um, installation directory, I'm gonna leave blank because I'm just gonna install it straight to mywebsite.com. Admin login details, so you just put in your username and password you wanna use. Email address, admin full name, you can put in full name if you want, so. Now I'm going to install sample data so you can see what the basics of it looks like once you've freshly installed Joomla. So I'm just going to click install. Okay, so you can see here, it tells you some of the details it used to install Joomla. And basically the, the installation was successful. So now I'm going to click finish installation. And now Joomla is installed. So that's all you need to do to install Joomla. So you can see how quick that was and how easy that was. So now I'm going to load my page again and go back to the page that was actually blank that I showed you before and see what it shows now. So instead of just being a white page with a little bit of text on the top corner, it's now got Joomla installed. So you can see this is Joomla. This is all sample data at the moment. You can remove and change any data on Joomla. You can change all the pictures. You can change the positioning of any module, menu, the polls you can move around. You can change absolutely everything. So you can see with the fresh installation of Joomla, you've got a search bar already, you've got some menu um, items, you've got the menus down the side here, a login form if you wanted to have users to be able to log in, and then just different articles. So now let's log in to the back end of Joomla, so the administration side. So all you do is come up to your site now here, and at the end of your address, so your site.com forward slash, just type in administrator. So that's all you need to type in to actually log into Joomla or to bring up the login screen. And then just quickly I put in the admin details you used in the setup. So this is the administration side of Joomla. 
And it, it may look a little bit confusing at the moment, but I have tutorials that show you exactly how to use everything on the back end of Joomla here. But to show you how easily you can control your website using Joomla, I'm going to change the template, which will change the entire look of the Joomla site. So to do that, all you have to do is go to extensions and then template manager. I'm going to bring up the site at the same time here so I can show you the differences as I change the settings. Okay, so that's the Joomla site at the moment, which is just the installation of Joomla. Now, currently there are only three themes available, but you can install as many themes as you want and themes are very easy to install, but that's not what I'm going to show you in this video. I just want to show you the what happens when you change the theme. So let's say I wanted to change the theme to this one here. If you mouse over each one, you get a preview of the theme. So I'm just going to tick that and click default, which makes it the default theme. You can tell which one's the default by the star here. Okay, so now this was what my website looked like with the sample data. And now I'm just going to refresh this so it loads the new theme now. So you can see just by clicking theme manager and changing the theme with a few clicks, it changes the entire look of my website. So you can see that's totally different. And again, I'm going to change it the theme again just to this other one, to B's. So I'm just going to tick that and click default. So that's changed now. And if I refresh this again, it'll be another whole theme. You can see that it looks totally different again. So you can see how easy it is to change the entire look of your site using Joomla. And you'll also notice it actually changes the entire look of your site, including every single page within your website. So if I just load one of the links here, which links to a Let's go more about Joomla. Now I'm just going to select the project and pick a random article. So you can see that the template actually changes for every single page in your site. Now I'm just going to load another page here, one that's got more content on it. So you can see what an actual page looks like within your website. So this section here is where the content goes for the articles you write. And you can change the modules displayed on every single page. So I could take this main menu here to not display on this page only. So now I'm just going to switch the theme back to the original one. And you can change the image here to have your own logo. You can change the text anywhere. You can, you can literally change any part of the page. You can remove things from showing. The mod, these are all modules, every little section of code or item that you see on the page. Like this login forms an item. You can remove it. You can move it around. You can delete it. You can do the same with the search bar. You can do, do it to literally any part of the site. So you can easily manage your entire website from the administration section of Joomla. And I just want to quickly show you what themes you can actually get for Joomla, like how nice some of the themes you can get are. So I'm just going to go to Rocket Themes, which is where I get all my Joomla themes from. And they're my favorite Joomla themes. And I'm just going to go view demo and view some demos with some Joomla themes. So this is an example of a theme that um, Rocket Themes have released. You can see it's a lot more stylish than the standard themes that come with Joomla. And you can install these very easily and just enable them by the same way I enabled the other themes. So you can see this has got a lot better menu set up than the other ones had. It's got the drop down menu from the top. So the different things. Now, this theme is probably not for everyone, so I'm just going to load a few different themes to show you some examples of what Joomla can look like. And here's a list of all the themes that Rocket Theme offer for Joomla. So I'm just going to load a different one. So this one's called Crystalline that I'm loading. Okay, so this theme's called Crystalline, and you can see it looks totally different again, but it's simple to install and with a few clicks you activate it on your site. So th this is all just sample data they've set up, but you put all your own data in all your own links, the menus, all yours. You set it up exactly how you want it. Now I'll show you what a sample, like what a content page would look like with this theme. So this is what a normal content page would look like. You've got your article that goes in here. So all your text in that and there, you can put the videos, whatever you want, however you set up your page. You can see the menus on the right here. If you didn't like the menu on the right here, you can go into the Joomla administration and just um, change some settings for the theme. And you can put the menu or this column, you can actually move this whole column to make it a left side column. So that just flip those around. You can even put in three columns if you wanted another sidebar as well. And with this theme, you'll see it's got a color chooser here. And if you click that, it'll load this. We can actually change the colors that, that make up the page. Like I'm just going to do a preset here and change a preset. 
and click apply. And you'll see by changing that preset, if I have a look at the page now, it's actually changed the look of the page, different background, different color usage and everything. So that's just to show you how easy Joomla is to use and how quickly you can change the entire look of your whole website. So in that few minutes, I installed Joomla and I've switched the theme a few times to show you the different looks you can go for. So it's that quick and easy to set up the Joomla website and you can start adding your own content straight away. If you were to code a website like this by hand to make it look like this and function like this with the polls and login and everything like that, you would literally have to spend a few years learning how to code a website properly. It's really hard to hand code a website to look this good and function like this. So Joomla is definitely the option. Okay, so from that little demonstration, you can see why you wanna use Joomla to run your website. I use Joomla to create all my websites now, including this one. So my website's made with Joomla and I really recommend it and I love it. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what's the catch? Well, the catch is that Joomla is 100% free and you're not allowed to pay for it. That's almost a deal breaker, I know. But the reason why it's 100% free is that Joomla is what's called open source. Basically, this means that smart people all over the world work together to build the best content management system available. It's okay that you don't understand why they would do this for free. Just think of how awesome it is that they actually do. If Joomla was made by a private company for profit, you'd probably be looking at a few hundred dollars to buy it, at least. I just want to quickly mention that Joomla also has the ability to add extensions. Extensions can be used to add any type of functionality that you need. You can add, you can actually even get an extension to add a whole forum to Joomla. You can get one that turns Joomla into a blog. You can get extensions that manage videos for your site. You can get extensions that um, add chat rooms on your site, calendar extensions. You can, if there's something you want to do with your website, there's an extension to help you. Because Joomla is so popular, there are thousands of people that work on creating extensions for it, which are mostly free and you can get them from the Joomla extension database. Okay, so Joomla is free and learning how to create a website using Joomla is also free with the use of my tutorials. However, don't get too excited because there is something you're going to have to pay for. What could it be? You're probably thinking, of course, I know what it is. You want my kidney. It's okay, you can relax. My kidneys are fine. Well, I think they're fine. Wait, maybe I do want a kidney. Seriously though, the only cost involved in starting your Joomla website is a domain name and website hosting account, which you will be installing Joomla to. Domain names are really cheap and you only have to pay for them yearly. A domain name is like yoursite.com and you need a website hosting account to hold all your website files and to install Joomla too. A website hosting account comes in at about $8 or so a month for the best hosting. I only recommend using HostGator as your website hosting account, as in my opinion, they are the best and they are all I use now. All my website hosting is done through HostGator. I bet by now you're getting a nervous twitch and your hands are starting to shake like crazy because you can't wait to start your Joomla website. Wait, you're not shaking, no nervous twitch? Anyway, back to whatever I was at before. Actually, I just want to quickly say that I'm glad you've decided to make a website and using Joomla for this is a great choice. That's exactly how I see it now since I've been using Joomla for a very long time. I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that you're creating your website wanting to make some type of income. Well, that's exactly what I want to help you do and for free. I'll let you know why I offer all my tutorials for free plus something else that's pretty cool and for free as well on the tutorial link mentioned below this video. It's the tutorial for getting your Joomla website. So in that, in that tutorial, I explain why my site's free and why I help for free and something else that I actually also um, offer for free. Okay, I got a bit off track there. So to get your Joomla website started, you're going to need a domain name and a hosting account. These are two things no website can make do without. If you have any thoughts in your head about maybe I can find or use a free website hosting company, forget it. Free website hosting is nothing but trouble. You never actually own your website. It will be down all the time. Rankings in Google will be very hard to get and it's just plain bad for business. Website hosting isn't that expensive, so get quality. Below this video here, there's an image link you can click that will take you to the tutorial to help you get your own domain name and website hosting account for Joomla. 
There's also another image link at the end of this page, just here, which says get a domain name and hosting account for your Joomla website. So you can click either of those and that'll link you to the next tutorial to help you get your Joomla website. I hope you're not one of those old do it tomorrow people and then years pass and you're still going to do it tomorrow. You'll never get anywhere when you keep telling yourself I'll do it tomorrow. I spent so much effort and time making all the video tutorials to help you for free. You could do me a favor and check out my next tutorial video and see how you like it. Simply click the image link directly under this video and it'll link to it. Remember, I explain why all my tutorials are free on the next page, plus what else I offer for free. So check it out. So just click this link here. If you're watching this video on YouTube, there'll be a link to the next tutorial in the description.